Hey everybody, today I'd like to discuss the new LinkedIn Thought Leader ads. It's a new format allowing businesses to sponsor posts from their trusted voices. Um, it's a unique ad format that enhances brand equity by authentically communicating through our thought leaders, uh, reaching your target audience with a resonant and respected voice, and it allows you to leverage the insights of your thought leaders through these ad units that offers a compelling, powerful way for you to engage and influence your target audience. Why do we use these ads? Firstly, it's a really strategic asset in building brand credibility by promoting content from real employees. These ads foster genuine trust amongst our target audience. It allows our brand to shine as an industry authority, uh, sharing our unique perspectives from our executives or industry experts, further establishing our employees as category leaders and that in turn gives us an edge over our competitors. And then lastly, it allows us to catalyze community growth, boosting followers and our engagement from our organization's thought leaders. In essence, they're an effective tool to amplify personal brands and foster stronger connections with our audience. I always say that brands, uh, people find brands through other people, and this is a great synergistic way for your thought leaders to be incentivized to continue to build on their content efforts, to shine the light on the work that the business does and for the business to amplify the good work that they're doing in reaching additional audiences. Some quick best practices. Firstly, sponsor posts that are less than 30 days old to maintain the freshness and relevancy of the content, right? Use your LinkedIn company page to discover trending employee content through the My Company tab. It's a really valuable source for your next thought leader ad. It keeps your promotions relevant and engaging. Um, to manage connection requests, ask your thought leaders to switch their profile call to action from connect to follow. And then lastly, encourage your thought leaders to document their organic performance before your ad campaign. So it really helps you in measuring the precise impact of your thought leader ads, guiding future strategic decisions. Okay, so I wanna quickly give you a demo on how this actually works. First, we're in our LinkedIn campaign manager. We've launched a new campaign. For now, it's in the default group and under unknown campaign. And we've gone to the campaign setup stage. Now I'm gonna to go to the objectives. For the moment, it's just available under awareness and consideration. I'm gonna choose brand awareness as my objective. I'm not going to do anything on the audience right now. We always want to make sure that we untick or in, enable audience expansion. At the moment, it's only available on the single image ads. Hopefully video follows soon, but you have to select single image ads for this to work. And most importantly, you have to untick the LinkedIn audience network button. If you keep it ticked, you won't see the ability to choose the new thought leadership ad. So untick LinkedIn audience network, not gonna do anything under budgeting and scheduling for now. I'm gonna click next. Now it's gonna to get to the campaign or the ad creation stage. In here, we're going to go and we're going to browse existing content. So you can either create new ads or thought leader ads, we need to browse existing content click on that button it's going to go and open up a search bar with all of the content that's available for our business to sponsor and you can see in the top left hand corner there are three buttons now available direct sponsored company page and employee so if you wonder whether you have the functionality already available in your ads tab this is the only way to check for now i'm going to choose employee i'm going to go and i'm going to just quickly find a post from myself Right, let's quickly just go and find somebody. Right, so here we've got a post, um, and we're going to focus on this post four weeks ago. Let's quickly select that. Um, and now it's important when you engage with your employee post, right? They will, you have to request permission from the employee in order to sponsor that piece of content. So very important before you start your exercise, you need to make sure that your employee is connected to your actual company page. They're correctly connected. Now, 
that also means that people who have a showcase page, so those are our sub pages to company pages if you have a showcase page showcase pages doesn't allow for employees um, so you won't be able to run thought leader ads from your showcase page a way around that is maybe to use the parent page to create your thought leadership content so i've selected the, the ad that i want to use this type of ad you can see it's appeared under the preview tab i've requested access so now I can, what it will do is it will send an email to that individual's primary email address. So the primary email address is the address that's connected to their personal profile on LinkedIn, right? And it will go and it will show us that mail in their primary email address. Now we can also go and we can view requests at the top of our page here. You can see that we've, it is pending approval. Now, there are two ways. One, it will appear in their, their company page, right? Or it will also go and appear on this request tab. And I can go and I can click copy link and it will create a link that I can send to that employee to go and approve directly within their, um, within their primary email address or I can send it to on WhatsApp or wherever and they will get it and they can approve it from there. I'm going to use another example here from John where he's already uh, received the, the request for approval he's clicked to approve it um, and now we can go and we can select his ad and we can go and we can sponsor that ad to our profile to our campaign and then I can click next I can follow the, the steps to launch the campaign that is really how complicated it is there's going to be a link in the comments below to an article that explains a little bit more about thought leader ads some of the use cases some of the benefits and where you can find out more information thank you